Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Ansonia. It is high school basketball action, OHSAA style, cross county conference, a makeup game. This game was postponed earlier because of inclement weather, but uh, we're back here at Ansonia. Now, I said during the preliminary game we were initially scheduled to do Tri Village at Winchester. I was really, I, I have to be honest, I was really looking forward to that ball game because the last time I broadcast a game at the old, or uh, well, it's been around a while, but from Winchester Fieldhouse was when uh, they had the Winchester Classic, uh, Golden Falcon Classic, or I can't even remember what they called it, but uh, Ansonia, Tri Village, Mississinawa Valley, and Winchester participated in that classic, and uh, it was a lot of fun. But uh, that was in 1986, and that was the last time that I broadcast a game from the Winchester Fieldhouse. And I have to say, I was really kind of looking forward to it. In fact, uh, we were hoping that uh, we could get Dallas Osting, former coach here at Ansonia back in the late 70s and early 80s, to call that game with me. But uh, that game was canceled because of Winchester's girls participating in the IHSAA state turn uh, state competition state series competition uh the second grouping of tournaments i can't remember whether they do sectionals first or regionals first in indiana but uh i think it's uh sectionals and then regionals and then semi-state and then the final four but this was a second grouping of games and they play the semifinals in the morning and they play the championship game at night. Well, Winchester's girls, I was just informed, did win this morning, and they are playing tonight. So, uh, good reason that game was canceled, and uh, they will not be making it up, but uh, still kind of disappointed, but we're glad to be here tonight for this ball game, Tri-County North and Ansonia, uh, and we should be in for a good basketball game. We're going to take a break. I'm Mark Bixler, I'm Bixler Video Productions. We'll be back with the starting lineups of tonight's game after this two-minute break. Helping underwrite this event, Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home with locations in Arcanum as well as in Brookville by the Maidrite Sandwich Shop located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company located on Main Street in Ansonia and by Greenville Federal Savings and Loan, located on Wagner Avenue and also inside Kroger. Helping underwrite this event, Montage Cafe, located on Broadway in Greenville. By Greenville High School Interactive Media Class from the Career Tech Center, a friend of the wave. By McCabe Painting Incorporated, located in Greenville and by AC Wood Creations, handcrafted quality items. Helping bring you this event, Cox Insurance, with locations in both Ansonia as well as in Greenville, Greenville VFW Post 7262, a friend of the wave, by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County, and by Wayne Health Sports Rehabilitation and Sports Medicine, a division of Wayne Healthcare. Helping underwrite this event, First Presbyterian Church, located on East 4th Street in Greenville, a friend of the WAVE sponsor by Family Health of Dark County, with locations in Greenville, New Madison, Arcanum, and Versailles. By Tribute Funeral Homes of Greenville and New Madison, formerly Oliver Floyd Funeral Home and Pope Ron Funeral Home, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. If you would like to help underwrite or sponsor a game or event, M. Bixler Video Productions airs, contact us. And we welcome you back to Ansonia as the starting lineups being announced for tonight's ball game. For the visitors from Tri County North in Lewisburg, number one is Preston Larson, a 6'1 junior. Dylan McCullough, number three, a 6'2 senior. Brian Stinson is number four, he's a 5'11 junior. Josh Heindel, a six-foot junior, wears number 21. And the final starter 
is number 35, a 16 junior, Preston Jackson Joe Smith, as the coach of the Tri County North Panthers. For the Ansonia Tigers, Aiden Sanders, a 6'2 senior, wears zero. Devin Sink, a 5'10 junior, wears number two. Braden Schwab, a 5'10 senior, wears number five. Trevor Alexander, a 6'1 senior, wears number 24. And the final starter, a 5'9 junior, wearing number 50, is Andrew Rowland. Chad Kramer is the coach of the Arizona Tigers. We're going to take another break. We'll be back with the opening tip-off of tonight's ball game in two minutes. Helping underwrite this event, Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home, with locations in Arcanum as well as in Brookville, by the Maidrite Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street in Ansonia. And by Greenville Federal Savings and Loan, located on Wagner Avenue and also inside Kroger. Helping underwrite this event, Montage Cafe, located on Broadway in Greenville. By Greenville High School Interactive Media Class from the Career Tech Center, a friend of the wave. By McCabe Painting Incorporated, located in Greenville. And by AC Wood Creations, handcrafted quality items. Helping bring you this event, Cox Insurance, with locations in both Ansonia as well as in Greenville, Greenville VFW Post 7262, a friend of the wave, by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County, and by Wayne Health Sports Rehabilitation and Sports Medicine, a division of Wayne Healthcare. Helping underwrite this event, First Presbyterian Church, located on East 4th Street in Greenville, a friend of the WAVE sponsor, by Family Health of Dark County with locations in Greenville, New Madison, Arcanum, and Versailles. By Tribute Funeral Homes of Greenville and New Madison, formerly Oliver Floyd Funeral Home and Pope Ron Funeral Home. And by M. Bixler Video Productions. If you would like to help underwrite or sponsor a game or event, M. Bixler Video Productions airs, contact us. And we're back at Ansonia. The tip just about ready, and it is controlled by Tri-County North. So the Panthers with the opening tip to start things off here tonight. With it was Dylan McCullough gives it off to Brian Stinson, and they set the offense up. Stinson brings it to the right side. Out top, now he takes it near the top. McCullough, he looks to drive baseline. Cut off, he'll pull up. The wing jumper is short, and it's Swab with the rebound for Ansonia. Swab to Sanders, up the right side of the court. Pulls up, gives it back to Swab. Sink with it. He had a great game against Mississippi Valley, but last night against Tri-Village. This is a Valley game a couple weeks ago. Last night against Tribe Village. The Patriots defense did a very good job on him. They knew where the three-point shooters were, and they shut him down. And the runner in the lane, it's good. Stinson with that basket, and the Panthers take the 2 nothing lead, much like they did in the junior varsity game here tonight. Sanders in the lane, kicks it over to Swab. Swab drives into the lane, kicks it out to Roland. Roland to Alexander, fires a three, does not go. And the rebound is to Simmons. Stinson, rather. That's going to be a foul called on Swab. His first, team's first. Does not go, and the rebound is to Alexander. Pushes it into the front court. Sink takes the handoff. Right side on the wing. Gives it off to Swab. Sink gets it back. He'll fire the three. Buries it. And much like the JV game, Tigers answer with a three and take the 3-2 lead. 
Stinson gives it off to Larison. Stinson gets it back. Right side, top. On top it goes to Heindel. He fires a three, good. And Heindel answers, sinks three with a three of his own. And the lead is two, four, the Panthers, five, three. Swab gives it off to Alexander. Sanders with it now, Swab. The sink. North and a man to man. That is deflected. And the steal. Stinson ahead to McCullough, but he loses it out of bounds, and it'll be Tiger basketball. 5.23 left here in the opening quarter. Panthers buy a basket over Ansonia. 5 to 3. Mark Bixler with you on Bixler Video Productions. over the head of Alexander, but Sanders was right there. Sink, open for the long three, buries it. Well, I'm sure that was one of the discussions that Chad Kramer had with his team last night, is finding ways to get open for threes as part of your offense, not trying to force it. Preston Jackson put it up, couldn't get it to go. The Tigers with the rebound. Sanders into the front court. Four and a half minutes remaining. Sink to Swab. Swab kicks it over to Alexander. Kicks it out. Sink another three. Does not go that time. And here come the Panthers. 6-5. And Sonia by a point with 4-10 remaining. Stinson. Turns it right side, it looks to go baseline, beats his man, and the floater down the right side of the lane goes. North back up by one, it's seven to six. Zink fires a three, will not go, and that's gonna be a foul on Roland. His first, team second. Tiger number four, Hunter Buckingham. Number 15, Matthew Shook. Shook in the ball game, as is Buckingham. McCullough with an out between the circles. Larson from the free throw line couldn't get it to go. Alexander with the rebound. It's to drive. Jackson saves it in, and the Panthers come up with a loose ball. And the floater in the lane. McKillen McCullough couldn't get it to go. Jackson has it, and he is fouled, a common foul. Tiger foul, number 15, Matthew Schiff is first, team's third. Making the inbounds pass, that's Josh Heindel. And out to Stinson, Stinson looks to drive. And that is gonna be a travel, oh, a foul. Buckingham looked like all ball from this side, but couldn't tell. He apparently got him with some body. Common foul. From this angle, anyway. And I couldn't tell what was happening to the front. Jackson is called for foul. His first, team's first. Common foul. 247 remaining. North seven, Ansonia six. Mark Mixler with you on Mixler Video Productions. Glad to be with you here from Ansonia. As Alexander kicks it out to Buckingham. He'll take the three. It's wide to the left. Out of bounds, and it'll be North basketball. Two and a half minutes remaining. Panthers 
Panthers substitution number 13, Phil Rockwood. left short and North with the offensive rebound. Stinson fires a three. Got it. Swab, top of the key, Buckingham. Gets it off to Shook. He drives. Picks it out to Swab. Still open for the three, then tries to drive. Alexander has it, drives down the lane, picks it back out to Swab. Sink with it now, left side top. Got reset the offense. Nice pass to Shook. He was cutting down the right side. He is fouled, and he's going to go to the line to get two. Preston Larson, his first team second. Preston Larson picking up the foul. Shook will get two free throws. First on the way, and it misses. North by four right now, 10-6 with a minute 38 remaining. Second free throw is good. So it's a 10-7. Helping underwrite this event, Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home with locations in Arcanum as well as in Brookville by the Maidrite Sandwich Shop located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company located on Main Street in Ansonia and by Greenville Federal Savings and Loan located on Wagner Avenue and also inside Kroger. Helping underwrite this event, Montage Cafe, located on Broadway in Greenville. By Greenville High School Interactive Media Class, from the Career Tech Center, a friend of the wave. By McCabe Painting Incorporated, located in Greenville. And by AC Wood Creations, handcrafted quality items. We welcome you back to Ansonia after the timeout. 10-7, that three-pointer does not go. Shook with the offensive rebound, couldn't get it to go. Left it short, and the ball is loose, but Stinson comes up with it. McCullough skips it over. That is Heindel for the three, couldn't get it. Sink comes down with the rebound for Ansonia. Tip from behind, ahead it goes, and McCullough chases it down. On the wing, Dylan Stinson for two. And the Tigers had an opportunity to either hold it with him one or tie it a couple of times, but couldn't cash in. North does, and they lead it by five right now, 12-7. Rolling to sink the fadeaway three. It's in and out, and that's out of bounds, and it's going to be North basketball with 20 seconds. Take the inbounds pass. And it's out of bounds off of sync. It stays with the Panthers. Stinson takes the inbounds pass. We're down to six seconds in the lane. Kicks it over. Saved back into Heindel, puts it up, couldn't get it to go, and that ends the first quarter. After one quarter of play, eight minutes in the books, it's Tri-County North 12, Ansonia 7, back to Ansonia in a minute. Helping bring you this event, Cox Insurance, with locations in both Ansonia as well as in Greenville, Greenville VFW Post 7262, a friend of the wave, by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County,
and by Wayne Health Sports Rehabilitation and Sports Medicine, a division of Wayne Healthcare. Helping underwrite this event, First Presbyterian Church, located on East 4th Street in Greenville, a friend of the Wave sponsor by Family Health of Dark County, with locations in Greenville, New Madison, Arcanum, and Versailles. By Tribute Funeral Homes of Greenville and New Madison, formerly Oliver Floyd Funeral Home and Pope Ron Funeral Home, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. If you would like to help underwrite or sponsor a game or event, M. Bixler Video Productions airs, contact us. Back at Ansonia. Tigers with possession. Sanders takes the inbounds pass, gets it off to Alexander to sink. Sanders. Drives into the lane, kicks it back out to Schwab. Alexander for three. Three point goal, Trevor Alexander. And the Tigers pulled within two at 12 10. McCullough to Stinson. Dylan Stinson now with it. McCullough gets it back. to drive, cut off Ryan Stinson at the free throw line, kicks it under to Dylan Stinson, he puts it up got the basket and he's fouled Alexander Alexander picking up that foul his first, team's fifth one off and it rolls off, it's out of bounds and it'll be Ansonia basketball. And that's the one I'm missing. Shook's foul. Alexander, corner goes to Swab, back to Alexander. And he takes the three, does not go. Swab gets the offensive rebound, kicks it over to Sanders. He'll take the three. It doesn't go, and the rebound is too north as Phil Lockwood comes up with that. Brian Stinson kicks it over. Dylan Stinson now has it. McCullough. Drives into the lane, and the reach in. I think. The basket is good. Not a lot of contact. Kind of a tic-tac foul there. Contact that I've seen earlier. That probably they should be calling a foul every play. Call got the basket in the free throw. So it's a, a seven-point lead. It's 17-10. Sink. Swab, Alexander has it. He drives, throws it up off the glass too strong. He's going to go to the free throw line to get two. Foul, number Lockwood picking up the foul, his first. He's third. third foul. So Alexander getting the two free throws. The first does not go. able to hit your free throws. They're free. Got the second. Six point game, 17-11 with 6-12 remaining. We're in the second quarter. Mark Bixler with you here from Ansonia and Bixler Video Productions. Glad to be with you on Greenville Public Access TV or GPAT Wave 5. Also on our YouTube channel and Bixler Video Productions YouTube channel. That three-point shot does not go, and it is saved back in. Jackson takes the pass, and it's off the glass, doesn't go. And the rebound is to Alexander. Schwab back to Alexander, 5.35 remaining. Schwab gets it back. Alexander drives down the lane, picks it out to Sanders, to Schwab. From the free throw line, does not go. McCullough with the rebound. One, two, four. 
Sink picking up the foul, his first. Team's sixth. Ooh, seventh. I'll win this one again. It is. Just mismarking it on my team area. Collins' free throw is good, so that makes it a seven point ball game. Shook back in the ball game, replacing Roland. Free throw rolls out. Shook grabs the rebound for him, Sonia. Sanders into the front court. Alexander to Sanders. Now top it goes. Shook. Back to Sanders. We're under five. 4.55 remaining here in the second quarter. Let it 12 7 at the quarter stop. And that three pointer is good by Cutter Alexander. His second three point goal. And the Tigers back to within four at 18 14. Well, they're trying to get it down to Lockwood, but Sanders with that pickoff. Sink to Shook. And as Shook gets it back. Alexander. And that's going to be on Jackson. He knew it. Tried to push his way through. And that is his second. Team's fourth. Josh Heindel checking in for North. Sink the fade away for three. It is in and out. And rebound. It's tipped away. Loose on the floor. And it is Sink that comes up with it. Sink drives down. Lays it up for two. And the Tigers fall to within two at 18-16 as we're at the four-minute mark. Second quarter of playing. This cross-county conference matchup. Pella to Brian Stinson. He'll take the three, buries it. And just like that, it's back to a five-point game after Ansonia got it to within two. Shook. That is deflected and stolen. Stinson for the three. He does not go. And rebound is to Ansonia. And Sink could not get it to go, battling for it. Lockwood comes up with it, but his pass is deflected, and Sink chases down the loose ball. Sanders has it on the right side wing. We're down to the three-minute mark. He drives in, lays it in, and it drops. Looked like it was going to roll off. Aiden Sanders with that basket. 2.59 remaining, and Sonia pulls to within three, 21-18. Tri County North still with the lead. Back to Ansonia in 60 seconds. Helping underwrite this event, Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home with locations in Arcanum as well as in Brookville by the Made Right Sandwich Shop located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company located on Main Street in Ansonia and by Greenville Federal Savings and Loan, located on Wagner Avenue and also inside Kroger. Helping underwrite this event, Montage Cafe, located on Broadway in Greenville. By Greenville High School Interactive Media Class, from the Career Tech Center, a friend of the wave, by McCabe Painting Incorporated, located in Greenville, and by AC Wood Creations, handcrafted quality items. North with possession as we welcome you back to Ansonia. The Panthers leading it over the Tigers. 21 18, 250 remaining. We'll call it with it out top. It looks like they're going to spread this out a little bit. Sonia falling back 
looks like in the kind of a it's not what I'd call a man to man, but it's tough to say if it's a looks like kind of a matchup. And count the basket. McCullough, well, nice job driving into the lane. He gets fouled. Shook picking up the foul. That is his second. Team's eight. McCullough will be getting a chance for an old fashioned three point play. And he can't get it to go. And the rebound is to Ansonia. Shook comes up with a loose ball. He gets it off to Sanders. And get it into the front court. Sanders lost it. And it's off of North, so it'll stay with Ansonia. 207 remaining, 23-18. North leading this by five. We're in the second quarter. Alexander takes the pass. He looks to go baseline. And it's saved back in. Alexander tried to deflect it off. But the young man from North, a tremendous job. Heads up play. A minute 50 remaining. And he'll look pass to Brian Stinson from McCullough. Right side it goes. That's Preston Larson. And Dylan Stinson couldn't get it to go. And Alexander with the rebound. A minute 32 remaining. Second quarter of play. And Sonia with possession down by five. Buckingham can get control of it. Alexander does. Takes the three and buries it. That's his third three-pointer of the game. Tigers with five for the night. 23-21. Larson to McCullough. Three-point shot, left it short. Buckingham with the rebound. He pushes it into the front court. It's tipped from behind, and it'll stay with the Tigers off of North. A minute exactly remaining, 60 ticks on the clock. Alexander takes the inbounds pass. Schwab to sink. He has it deflected, but Alexander comes up with it. Picks it over to Buckingham, sets up for the three, got it, and the Tigers lead this. After trailing 18 to 11, they now lead it 24-23. Ryan Stinson gets it out top. Heindel fires a three, will not go. Uh, hit one of the support beams. So it'll be Ansonia basketball. Six seconds remaining. Ansonia with possession, leading it by one. Sink with it out top, left side. Comes it up. Alexander lost it. Ahead it goes to McCullough down to Brian Stinson, gets the lay in. Buckingham fires a three, it's well short. We've completed one half of play as Ansonia battled back to take a 24-23 lead, but South, uh, North scoring late. And they lead it at the half, 25-14. I'm Mark Bixler on Bixler Video Productions. We're going to take a break. We'll be back. We'll take a look at scoring and recap this first half. And we'll hopefully chat with uh, Jim Robson, the principal here at Ansonia, here at halftime. We'll take a break. Back in two minutes. Helping underwrite this event, Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home, with locations in Arcanum as well as in Brookville, by the Maidrite Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville, the Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street in Ansonia, and by Greenville Federal Savings and Loan, located on Wagner Avenue, and also Inside Kroger. Helping underwrite this event, Montage Cafe, located on Broadway in Greenville. 
by Greenville High School Interactive Media Class from the Career Tech Center, A Friend of the Wave, by McCabe Painting Incorporated, located in Greenville, and by AC Wood Creations, handcrafted quality items. Helping bring you this event, Cox Insurance, with locations in both Ansonia as well as in Greenville, Greenville VFW Post 7262, A Friend of the Wave, by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County, and by Wayne Health Sports Rehabilitation and Sports Medicine, a division of Wayne Healthcare. Helping underwrite this event, First Presbyterian Church, located on East 4th Street in Greenville, a friend of the Wave sponsor, by Family Health of Dark County, with locations in Greenville, New Madison, Arcanum, and Versailles. By Tribute Funeral Homes of Greenville and New Madison, formerly Oliver Floyd Funeral Home and Pope Ron Funeral Home, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. If you would like to help underwrite or sponsor a game or event M. Bixler Video Productions airs, contact us. And we welcome you back to Ansonia, being joined right now by Jim Robson. And uh, it's been about uh, 12, probably 13 years. Uh, Thereabouts, let me get you turned up here. Yeah, probably even more than that. I, I, I can't remember what year it was. It was at the University of Dayton Arena, uh, and it was a game that, uh, hang on just a second, let me get you uh, turned up. You should be able to hear now. So, um, But uh, it's been a while. You've changed jobs. That's exactly right, yeah. I mean, last time we interviewed, you interviewed me, I was athletic director. Correct. Now it's my first year as a 7 through 12 principal here, so... And yeah, it's you, been some differences. And, and some big shoes to fill with Steve Garman. And, oh, yes. What, uh, a men, what a mentor he uh, was and still is. Uh, I keep telling him and teasing him, don't lose my number. Yeah. You know, don't block me when I call. Because, <laughs> you know, exactly. I mean, anytime you start a new job, there's always a lot of uh, different some, things that you yeah. have to, you know. It's so. a learning curve. Oh, yeah, huge. But, yeah. So uh, we're definitely glad to be back and doing some things here in Dark County. And, uh Hopefully, we've got things that uh, rolling once again. And uh, absolutely, it's always good to have you guys in. Um, you know, any kind of media coverage mm-hmm. that these kids can get, you know, it's just something they can always uh, um, take with them. And uh, you know, it's just nice to get that recognition. And one of the things I wanted to talk about, and we'll talk a little bit about some things going on here academically, but uh, a game that will go down in the history books. Um, our last trip here to Ohio at Mississippi Valley. And as far as I know, uh, from talking to a lot of people that know the history of not just Dark County basketball, but basketball in Ohio, it may very well be the only game that ended in a tie. Right, right. That was definitely a, a strange situation. But uh, I think for the safety of the players, the, uh, the, the uh, officials just decided it was probably the best thing to do. I know. Um, you know, everybody wants to see the game completed. Sure. You know, it's a huge, we wanted huge, to see it. Well, sure, it's a huge rivalry. Um, you know, but it's a friendly rivalry. You know, the boys um, they get along really well. I mean, a lot of times they'll get done with the game and then they'll go Best meet friends. up somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, so and that's, that's the history of that rivalry. Right. I mean, I. I having graduated from here in Ansonia, some of my best friends were at Mississippi Valley. Absolutely. And, I mean, you know, yeah. when it when it came off the court, best of friends. We did things. We cruised Broadway. When Most we definitely. cruise Broadway yeah. in Greenville. Yeah, right. Um, you know, together. Yeah. But when it came to the, on the court. Friendships were suspended. Friendships were over. <laughs> That's exactly. right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's been, um, you know, it's my 21st year here, and it's uh, it's been unique to see that uh, rivalry. Like I said, I don't think I can remember any time, whether it's on the football field, the basketball court, baseball, whatever, I don't remember seeing the kids not get along. Right. You, you know? I mean, so that's that's the, that's what a rivalry should be. You know, friendly competition. Friendly competition. You didn't want to lose. Oh, absolutely. But it still was a friendly competition, exactly. Most definitely. And that's, that's the way all high school, and all athletics should be. You know, fierce competitors, and then, you know, you can go about and be friends after. Now, with that game ending 55-55, the folklore of that ball game 
is going to be talked about for decades. That's exactly right. Yeah, sure will be. I mean, something that you can always remember, like you said, I don't know how many basketball games have ever ended in a tie across the country, but not very many. I've seen a lot of games <laughs> be suspended, like uh -huh. that one was, but were eventually completed. Correct. And this may be the first one, at least definitely in Dark County, and maybe in Ohio. I'm still trying to do some uh, research in right. regard to that, but right. uh, it may be the first one in Ohio to end in a tie. Tell us a little bit about uh, some of the academic programs that are going on here at Ansonia. Um, we've, we've got a lot of good things going on here at Ansonia. I think we've got uh, just a tremendous staff, uh, 7 through 12. Uh, you know, that's one of the things that Mr. Garman uh, uh, really left. He left us in uh, really good hands. So what, what's been the, the biggest thing for me is letting them go. You know, they know what they're doing. Our test scores are, are you know, right up there with the county every year, year in and year out. So um, this has been a, a, a case where I just have to come in and stay out of their way, <laughs> you know. But um, you know, we have uh, – we have a lot of good things going on. Our ag program is excellent. Uh, we have, uh, um, you know, a drama uh, program that uh, is right now getting ready to put on Peter Pan here in April. I mean, they're practicing four days a week for that. So, you know, we just have some really good uh, opportunities for the kids to get involved. We have an FCCLA program that um, um, we stole a, I shouldn't say steal, my uh, Mr. Ashley tells me we never steal. We just take the best that's available. Exactly. But we have um, um, a FCLA instructor that uh, is just second to none. I think she's really done some nice things with the program. So, you know, from just from top to bottom, um, I can't. I couldn't be happier with the staff that I've inherited. Well, and uh, listening to the pep band and hearing oh. the good things uh, about the band director. Uh, Mrs. Barry is phenomenal. She's got the program, the music program, headed back into the direction it was probably in in the 80s. Absolutely. Um, she's just, uh, uh, you know, you come in in the uh, uh, fall, and uh, I come into school a couple times, and the football lights were on. I mean, I'm like, you know, I'm getting here at 7.15, and I'm like, what is going on? And she's got them out on the football field going through their steps for the program that's going to be done that week. You know, it's just, I mean... Second to none. I'll, I'll put her up against anybody. Well, we appreciate your stopping by and chatting with us and Ooh. everything you do here at the school. Well, we appreciate you coming in, Mark. It's, uh, I know it's a long trip for you to get back to Dark County, so we appreciate everything that you do for high school athletics. We appreciate everything you do for high school athletics, definitely. Thank you very so. much. Appreciate it. Been talking to Jim Robson, the principal here at Ansonia. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back and give the scoring in two minutes. Helping underwrite this event, Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home, with locations in Arcanum as well as in Brookville, by the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville, the Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street in Ansonia, and by Greenville Federal Savings and Loan, located on Wagner Avenue, and also inside Kroger. Helping underwrite this event, Montage Cafe, located on Broadway in Greenville. By Greenville High School Interactive Media Class from the Career Tech Center, a friend of the wave. By McCabe Painting Incorporated, located in Greenville. And by AC Wood Creations, handcrafted quality items. Helping bring you this event, Cox Insurance, with locations in both Ansonia as well as in Greenville, Greenville VFW Post 7262, a friend of the wave, by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County, and by Wayne Health Sports Rehabilitation and Sports Medicine, a division of Wayne Healthcare. Helping underwrite this event, First Presbyterian Church, located on East 4th Street in Greenville, a friend of the WAVE sponsor by Family Health of Dark County, with locations in Greenville, New Madison, Arcanum, and Versailles. 
by Tribute Funeral Homes of Greenville and New Madison, formerly Oliver Floyd Funeral Home and Pope Ron Funeral Home, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. If you would like to help underwrite or sponsor a game or event M. Bixler Video Productions airs, contact us. And we welcome you back. Let's recap the scoring quickly. First for the visitors of Track and North, 25-24, the Panthers leading this. Dylan Stinson with four, Dylan McCullough with six, Brian Stinson leads the way with 12 points, and Josh Heindel has three. Four, Ansonia. Aiden Sanders with two, Dylan Devin Sink with eight, Hunter Buckingham with three, and Trevor Alexander with ten. Back in two minutes. Helping underwrite this event, Gilbert Fellers Funeral Home with locations in Arcanum as well as in Brookville by the Maidrite Sandwich Shop located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company located on Main Street in Ansonia and by Greenville Federal Savings and Loan located on Wagner Avenue and also inside Kroger. Helping underwrite this event, Montage Cafe located on Broadway in Greenville by Greenville High School Interactive Media Class from the Career Tech Center, a friend of the wave, by McCabe Painting Incorporated, located in Greenville, and by AC Wood Creations, handcrafted quality items. Helping bring you this event, Cox Insurance, with locations in both Ansonia as well as in Greenville, Greenville VFW Post 7262, a friend of the wave, by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County and by Wayne Health Sports Rehabilitation and Sports Medicine, a division of Wayne Healthcare. Helping underwrite this event, First Presbyterian Church, located on East 4th Street in Greenville, a friend of the WAVE sponsor by Family Health of Dark County, with locations in Greenville, New Madison, Arcanum, and Versailles by Tribute Funeral Homes of Greenville and New Madison, formerly Oliver Floyd Funeral Home and Pope Ron Funeral Home, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. If you would like to help underwrite or sponsor a game or event M. Bixler Video Productions airs, contact us. Back in Ansonia, 25-24, third quarter just underway. Mark Bixler with you on Bixler Video Productions. Hello with the ball out top. Heindel, he looks to drive. Jackson cannot get it to go. Heindel with the rebound. And here come the Tigers. They trail it by a point. And Sink has it stripped. Ahead it goes to Brian Stinson for two. And the Panthers extend their lead out to three, 27-24. Sanders picks up his dribble, gets the ball to Sink. Schwab to Alexander. Sink looks to drive. Throws up the floater. He's fouled. Larson picking up his second foul. Team's first. Sink will go to the free throw line. He'll be getting a couple of free throws. First one is on the way. It's good. Tigers within two with 7.04 remaining. 27-25. Sink will try to make this a one-point ball game. Second one's on the way, and it's good as well. 27-26. North leading it by a point. McCullough hands it off. That's Stinson. He looks to drive down the lane. Larson fires a three. In and out. Jackson, the offensive rebound. It is blocked. Six forty-four remaining. North with the ball. That's a case that you got to learn that you don't have to swat the ball. Just block it and then hope your teammates come up with it. Larson gets the basket. 
And the lead is three once again. Schwab gives it off to sink. Runner down the lane, couldn't get it to go, gets his own rebound. He'll take the two just inside the arc, doesn't go. Schwab with the offensive rebound. Now they try to get it down to Roland. Jackson on the floor, but it's McCullough that comes up with it. Larson back to McCullough. Under six minutes. McCullough top of the key. Gives it to Jackson. Spins. And it won't go. Jackson gets the rebound, but Sanders comes up with it, and Jackson lost his footing and commits the foul. And the foul on the his third. His third. Team second. Sanders. Roland has to go. Swamp shot couldn't go, and it's McCullough that grabs the rebound. Underneath to Jackson. Spins, puts it up, and it will not go. And for some of the calls that were made in the first half, they're really letting them play here in the second. Alexander for three, got it. Three point goal, Trevor Alexander. That is his fourth three pointer, and we're tied at 29. 4.55 remaining. Stinson with it out top. Dribbles it left side, cut off. Heindel to Larson. Heindel, he looks to drive down the lane, picks it over to Jackson. That's going to be a foul. I think it's going to be on Schwab. It is. His second. Tim's first. Jackson will go to the free throw line to get the two free throws. First one is good. North back in front by a point. 30 to 29. Matthew Shook. As we said, Mark Mixler and Mixler Video Productions. That doesn't go. Sanders grabs the rebound for Ansoni, and he'll push it into the front court. Sanders gives it off to Alexander. Guarded by Heindel. On the wing, out top it goes to Sanders. Right side to Shook. Shook to sink, open for the three. Off the heel of the rim, Stinson with the rebound, and here comes the Panthers. Stinson to Heindel for three. Does not go. The long rebound chased down by Buckingham. Gets it back to Sink, and he'll get it to Sanders. Sanders to Alexander. Too strong. It's Jackson that comes up with the rebound. Side, looks to drive. It's a block on the floor. Oh, and bailed out. I think he would have gotten a travel because he'd already taken seven. his two steps when contact was made. Common foul. Sanders picking up his second, team second here in the second half. Dylan Stinson with the inbounds pass. Brian Stinson for the three. Won't go. Chuck saves it in. Schwab comes up with it. And he'll hold it up. Sink takes the pass. Right side. Buckingham for the three. Got it. Tigers up by a deuce. Now 32-30. Three ball ball into Buckingham. 308 remaining. Stinson. I'm not sure he traveled. I think he got himself gathered in. I think 
against him. He got a break right there. Sometimes I think officials don't think a player can do something and anticipate it, and it didn't happen. Shook underneath for two. Tiger lead is 4, 34, 30. Stinson drives down the lane, throws up the runner, won't go. Shook with the rebound. Sink into the front court to Schwab for two. And the Tigers up by six right now. And we're going to see a timeout taken, and we've got a change of the guard. Five new players coming in for Tri-County North. 2-12 remaining. It's Ansonia 36. Tri-County North 30 back in a minute. Helping bring you this event, Cox Insurance, with locations in both Ansonia as well as in Greenville. Greenville VFW Post 7262, a friend of the wave, by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County, and by Wayne Health Sports Rehabilitation and Sports Medicine, a division of Wayne Healthcare. Helping underwrite this event, First Presbyterian Church, located on East 4th Street in Greenville, a friend of the WAVE sponsor by Family Health of Dark County, with locations in Greenville, New Madison, Arcanum, and Versailles, by Tribute Funeral Homes of Greenville and New Madison, formerly Oliver Floyd Funeral Home and Pope Braun Funeral Home, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. If you would like to help underwrite or sponsor a game or event, M. Bixler Video Productions airs, contact us. And they put it in play, but I hadn't got the uh, clock back from the timeout. Now we're ready to go. Heindel, Odell for three, does not go. Sink grabs the rebound. Buckingham for three. In and out, Swab with the rebound. In some trouble, and it is batted out of bounds, and it'll be North basketball. A minute 52 remaining. If Buckingham was able to get that to go, it would have extended this lead out to nine. And that is a steal. Shook. It's an off to Buckingham. Sink. He drives down the lane, throws it up, and he is fouled. He'll go to the line to get two. Heindel picking up the foul, his first, team's third, and at the free throw line is Sink. He got the first. He now has nine. Going for double digits here. And he got it. So it's an eight-point lead, 38-30. Heindel drives, and that is tipped from behind. Buckingham comes up with the loose ball. Sink for three. Got it. Forty-one thirty, and Sonia by eleven. Odell to Jackson. Spins. Puts it up. He's fouled. He's going to go to the line to get two. Shook picking up the foul. That is his third. Preston Jackson shooting two. The third or fourth? I think it's the third. Sonia with us some substitutions. We'll get the players on the floor right now as Jackson getting the two free throws. Jackson, Heindel, 
Dylan Stinson. Basket was good by Sanders. From the quarter, Brian Stinson won't go. Jackson battling for it, gets the offensive rebound. It's blocked. And it is Stinson, McCullough that comes up with a steal. He throws it up and won't go. He's fouled. And Sonia by 11. That is Shook's fourth. So McCullough at the free throw line. The first is good. At the left, the Tigers number 15, Andrew Rowe. Second free throws on the way. It is good as well. 43-34, and Sonia by nine right now. Alexander gets it into the front court, 24 seconds remaining. That's tipped and it will stay with Ansonia. Alexander will trigger it in. Sink takes the inbounds pass. Top it goes to Sanders. Alexander gets it now. Sink. 10 seconds. We'll take the three short. And underneath it goes. And the lay-in is good. McCullough with the basket. As the Panthers pulled within seven, heading into the final eight minutes. 43-36, and Sonia leading this over Tri-County North. And you're back with the final eight minutes of play in 60 seconds. Helping underwrite this event, Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home, with locations in Arcanum as well as in Brookville, by the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville, the Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street in Ansonia and by Greenville Federal Savings and Loan, located on Wagner Avenue and also inside Kroger. Helping underwrite this event, Montage Cafe, located on Broadway in Greenville, by Greenville High School Interactive Media Class, from the Career Tech Center, a friend of the wave, by McCabe Painting Incorporated, located in Greenville, and by AC Wood Creations, handcrafted quality items. Final quarter of play underway, 43-36. And Sonia with possession. Sink with it. It's an off to Aiden Sanders. to Alexander, Schwab with it, it's to drive, cut off, and for an opening, finally gets it out to Sanders. Alexander with it, right elbow, the free throw line, Sink gets it back, and he flips it up, cannot get it to go. Losing his balance. McCullough to Heindel. Brings it back out. Dylan Stinson to McCullough. Take it to the left side. That's Brian Stinson with it in the corner. Stinson fires a three, left it short. Alexander with the rebound. They'll walk it into the front court. Six and a half minutes remaining. And Sonia still 
Either team has scored here in the final quarter. 43-36. Schwab. Alexander. Sanders drives down. Kicks it out to Alexander. Alexander, the floater, cannot get it to go. It's tapped out. Sanders with the rebound. The sink. Top of the key. Roland. The sink. He'll take the three. Got it. His fourth three-pointer, and Ansonia's lead is 10. 46-36 here in the final quarter. McCullough. That three-pointer by Heindel is good. And it's back to a seven-point game, 46-39. Sink. Right side on the wing, goes baseline, brings it up the reverse, got it. Timeout taken, Ansonia, it'll be a full one. Ansonia, 48, Tri-County North, 39. I'm Mark Bixler, I'm Bixler Video Productions, back to Ansonia in 60 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Cox Insurance, with locations in both Ansonia as well as in Greenville, Greenville VFW Post 7262, a friend of the wave by Greenville National Bank with locations throughout Dark County and by Wayne Health Sports Rehabilitation and Sports Medicine, a division of Wayne Healthcare. Helping underwrite this event, First Presbyterian Church located on East 4th Street in Greenville, a friend of the wave sponsor, by Family Health of Dark County with locations in Greenville, New Madison, Arcanum, and Versailles. By Tribute Funeral Homes of Greenville and New Madison, formerly Oliver Floyd Funeral Home and Pope Ron Funeral Home. And by M. Bixler Video Productions. If you would like to help underwrite or sponsor a game or event, M. Bixler Video Productions airs. Contact us. Back at Ansonia. Play underway. Five and a half minutes remaining. Scoops it up, does not go. Shook with the rebound. That was Brian Stinson. Shook. Has it on the right side. Devin Sink. Now top to Schwab. Shook has it. Gives it off to Schwab. Underneath the Sink, he'll bring it back out. Now he takes the three. It's good. Great ball go, Devin Sink. 139 and Sonia by 12. McCullough kicks it out to Stinson. Heindel with the top of the key. Jackson backs his way in for two. Justin Jackson. 10 point lead, 51 41. Applying some full court pressure. They get it across, and Sonia does. Schwab. They'll get it to Sanders. Sink with it now on the left side wing. Top it goes to Swab. Right side, Sanders. Sink takes it. He looks to drive. And he tries to get it down and Shook stepped in underneath. Sink the wraparound. Doesn't go, but Roland will tap in. And the Tigers lead 53-41. Stinson for three, left it short. Sink with the rebound. Sanders puts it into the front court. 340 remaining. On the corner, Swab, he'll take the three. Doesn't go, and it is going to be a foul on Roland. His second. Tiger foul number 50, Andrew Roland, his second. Team's fifth. The team's fifth. So North will put it in place. Still a 12 point lead for Ansonia. Down to three and a half minutes remaining. Stins, uh, McCullough, rather, with it on the, on the circle, drives into the lane, kicks it out to Larison for three. Got it. Big basket right there. Makes it. Put it down to a nine-point game. 
Sink takes the long three, does not go. And the rebound is to North. The clock's your friend, take some time off the clock. Harrison picks it out. Dylan Stinson, and McCullough, right elbow of the free throw line. Picks it back out, Heindel, he drives into the lane, picks it out to McCullough. And the free throw line to Heindel, he'll step behind the arch and cannot get it to go. It's tapped out, and we have a held ball. And it'll be North basketball. Time substitution number four out to the running end for the Panthers number four, Brian Stinson. McCullough gets the ball to Jackson. And we've got a reach in. That's going to be on sink. Team six. It'll still be a common foul, but from here on out, North will be shooting free throws. Sonia by 11. Stinson does not get it to go. The rebound is to Shook. Sanders takes some time off the clock. Nope. Shoot it quick. I just don't get that. You've got an 11 point lead. Take time off the clock. That three point shot does not go. Sanders grabs the rebound. Alexander has the ball. Brings it off to Shook. Drives into the lane, kicks it over to Sanders. To Buckingham. Alexander for three and got it. It's fifth. And the lead is 12, 56-44. Larson fires a three, will not go, and the rebound is two. Sink. Buckingham with it now. Sanders to sink. Drives down the lane. The runner does not go, gets the rebound, and lost it as he's falling down. A minute five remaining. McCullough puts it up, rolls around, and gets the basket. 59 seconds. 56 46. Shook to Sanders. Drives down the lane, kicks it over to Sink. He'll take the three, and it will not go. And that's going to be a foul on Alexander. Why? Alexander picking up the second foul, team seventh. But now, with just under 40 seconds, Northson can score some points with the clock stopped. Dylan McCullough shooting one and one. getting the one and one. The first is no good, and Sanders grabs the rebound. Sanders to Alexander, now sync with it. Cross court, it goes to Sanders. Shook in the middle, sink. And I think, what do we have? Is it going to be a charge or a block? Larson picking up the foul, his third. Still, no. I didn't think he was. Wow. I didn't think he had started the motion to shoot. Got the first. 24 seconds remaining, and Sonia up by 11, 57 46. Got them both. Stinson drives down the lane, kicks it out to Larson, to McCullough. And that's out to Lockman for the three. Bounces in that. That will not count. And hit the support beam. 
and then came back through. So the basket will not go, and that will probably do it. They've got to get it into the front court. And Sink does, and that will do it. And Sonia pulls off the win as they beat Track County North tonight, 58 to 46. We'll come back. We'll take a look at scoring and recap this one in just a moment. Helping underwrite this event, Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home with locations in Arcanum as well as in Brookville by the Made Right Sandwich Shop located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company located on Main Street in Ansonia and by Greenville Federal Savings and Loan located on Wagner Avenue and also inside Kroger. Helping underwrite this event, Montage Cafe located on Broadway in Greenville by Greenville High School Interactive Media Class from the Career Tech Center, a friend of the wave, by McCabe Painting Incorporated, located in Greenville, and by AC Wood Creations, handcrafted quality items. Helping bring you this event, Cox Insurance, with locations in both Ansonia as well as in Greenville, Greenville VFW Post 7262, a friend of the wave, by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County, and by Wayne Health Sports Rehabilitation and Sports Medicine, a division of Wayne Healthcare. Helping underwrite this event, First Presbyterian Church, located on East 4th Street in Greenville, a friend of the wave sponsor, by Family Health of Dark County with locations in Greenville, New Madison, Arcanum, and Versailles. By Tribute Funeral Homes of Greenville and New Madison, formerly Oliver Floyd Funeral Home and Pope Ron Funeral Home. And by M. Bixler Video Productions. If you would like to help underwrite or sponsor a game or event M. Bixler Video Productions airs, contact us. And we welcome you back to Ansonia's The Tigers come from behind tonight to win this cross-county conference matchup uh, makeup game that was uh, postponed from earlier in the year. The final score, 58-46. As Antonio trailed 12-7 at the end of one. They led late in the first half, 24-23, but North came up with a steal, took it down and scored, and they led by a point at the end of uh, halftime, 25-24, the Panthers did. But the second half, Antonia coming out and dominating the second half as they outscored the Panthers to take a 43-36 lead at the end of three, and they end up winning by 12, 58-46, the final score. Let's take a look at the unofficial scoring here tonight for the Panthers. We had unofficially Preston Larson with five, Dylan Stinson with four, Preston Jackson with five, Josh Heindel with six. Two players in double digits for the Panthers here tonight. Dylan McCullough finishing with 12 points and Brian Stinson finishing with a game high, 14 points, a team high, I should say, 14 points for the Panthers. For Ansonia, then unofficially, Andrew Rowland with two points, Braden Schwab with two points, Matthew Shook with three points, Aiden Sanders with four, Hunter Buckingham with six, and two players in double digits for Ansonia. Trevor Alexander had 16 points. He had five three-point goals and a free throw for 16 points, while Devin Saint finished with a game high tonight, 25 points. He had five three-pointers and a couple of two-point goals, but he was six for six from the charity stripe, and as we said, he finished with 25 points. Again, the final score here tonight from Ansonia. The Tigers pulling off the win as they come from behind to defeat the visitors from Lewisburg in Tri-County North. Again, the final score, Ansonia 58, Tri-County North 46, 
in this cross county conference matchup. For M. Bixler Video Productions, I'm Mark Bixler. Until next time, so long, everybody.